Hello everybody, this is Jesse Keller once again with another episode of Jesse's Collectible Showcase. This is going to be part 2 of me showing off my metal tapes. It's going to be a lot shorter than the first video. I hope you guys enjoy what I have. <clears throat> this one is Chris Newman's Moving To and Fro demo. He was the singer of Napalm Beach, I believe. And a lot of people don't know that, I presume. This one is Kiss Smashes Thrashes and Hits. This is the only album that has the song Let's Put the X in Sex. <clears throat> and I got it specifically for that song. Even this one is Led Zeppelin 1, even though it's in a physical graffiti case. That's kind of sad if you ask me. But I got this at the Goodwill for 10 cents. It is a little warped. But it's still pretty good sounding. This one is Bad Company's self-titled album, Bad Company. I got it for 50 cents at the Goodwill. I've only listened to it once. The shape it's in is pretty good. This one is Led Zeppelin 2. I got it for 4 bucks at that record store in Everett where I got Master of Puppets. This one is an Aerosmith mixtape. This is another one that I got from my grandmother on my birthday. This one I actually got on Valentine's Day a couple of years ago. It is a uh, Super Unknown by Soundgarden. And it has, you know, Spoon Man and Black Hole Sun, which are two of their more famous songs on there. This one is... A single of If I Close My Eyes Forever, which is a duet featuring Lita Ford and Ozzy Osbourne. This one is High and Dry, Def Leppard's second album, another one that I got from the uh, Valley Village for 50 cents. This one is Poison, Who Let... <clears throat> Look what the cat dragged in. This is their first album I got at Value Village for 50 cents. And this is another one I got for 50 cents at Value Village. It is Saints and Sinners by White Snake. It has a pretty cool album cover. And for those of you who don't know, David Coverfield, who previously, before being <clears throat> in White Snake, was a singer for Deep Purple. And this is another one where it has a misleading album cover, even though it's in the case for Psycho Circus. This is a Kiss Double Platinum Volume 2, which is, you know, <clears throat> part of a dual album that I don't have. I don't have a part one to it. This one is The Dark, another one of the first metal tapes I've ever gotten. It's by Metal Church, which is a power metal band from Seattle. And if you look in the inside, it is <clears throat> taken, the picture of the band is taken in front of a gas works park, which is like a popular park to go to in Seattle, which I've been there. It's a fun place to go. This one is <clears throat> Led Zeppelin. On one side, it is two, and on the B side, it is three. Some of the records that are recorded <clears throat> on the tape, like this I got from my grandma, are actually vinyl. Like record from vinyl on the tape, which makes it pretty cool to listen to. This one I haven't listened to yet, but on side A it is Coda, and on side B it's Houses of the Holy, which is, you know, Led Zeppelin. This one is <clears throat> Love at First Sting by the Scorpions. I've listened to this one once, I got it for. 50 cents at Valley Village. This one is Band of Liar by Budgie. Budgie is uh, a <clears throat> the band that uh, had the song, you know, band uh, Bread Fan, which was popularized by the Metallica version on Garage Inc. or Garage Days Revisited, whichever one you listen to. This one is Striper and God We Trust. I 
Didn't really like that swan, but I'm going to keep it because it's metal. This one is Black Eagle, which is a demo from a Seattle metal band in the 90s. I don't know how the water, I don't know where this uh, water keeps coming from, but it dripped onto the cover, unfortunately. And, yeah. That kind of pisses me off right there. I need to fucking get that fixed before I flip out. I have bad anger issues, as you can tell. This one is ACDC. On one side, it is Dirty Deeds, Dunder Cheap. On the other side, it is Dirty Deeds, Dunder Cheap. Actually, no, it's a Highway to Hell and Back in Black. This one, on one side, it is Open Up and Say Ah by Poison. And on the B side, it is New Jersey by Bon Jovi. This one I got <clears throat> for 50 cents at the Value Village once again. It is 1984 by Van Halen. And this one is cool. On the one side, it is White Snake. It doesn't say what album. And same thing with the B side. It is a Sammy Hagar album. And this one is Pearl Jam 10. The reason why I threw the uh, cover away, this was long before we moved in here, but uh, I threw the cover away because it was starting to get all moldy and shit. I don't know how it got all moldy. <clears throat> this is one that I got for $8. It is a Polish copy of Kill em All, and sadly it doesn't have Metal Militia, and it cuts in between... Cliff's bass solo and whiplash when he changed sides. This one is Led Zeppelin on one side, it is their first album. On the second side, it is In Through the Outdoor. This one. One is Are You Experienced by Jimi Hendrix. This one I actually found somewhere like in the middle of a street. I can't remember where exactly. This one I got from the Goodwill. One of the few ones <clears throat> that are metal that I got from the Goodwill. Which is pretty fucking cool. I remember listening to this every single day during the summer. Walking around with the Walkman and stuff. You know, just cruising. This one is a Blue Oyster Coal on side A. It has Mirrors and Spectres on the B side. It has Agents of Fortune, <clears throat> Cultosaurus Erectus. I don't know what the fuck that means, but it sounds dirty. Fire of Unknown Origin. This one I got <clears throat> at the Goodwill. Another one of the few of the metal tapes that I got from the Goodwill for 10 cents. This is a Lights, Camera, Revolution by Suicidal Tendencies. Which is a hardcore crossover metal band. This one is, well, I got it simply, you know, because I had to. I don't like the album, but this is the Black Album. The start of Metallica going downhill, if you ask me. That's just my personal opinion, though. I got that for uh, 10 cents at the Goodwill. This one I got for 50 cents. It is Slided In by White Snake. Kind of a sexy album cover right there. This is the American release of Alice Cooper's Greatest Hits. And that one I got at the Goodwill. This one, I don't remember where I got it. It is a ZZ Top Eliminator, which has some of the more greatest hits on. This one is Exercises by Nazareth, which doesn't have any well-known songs like Love Hurts or Hair of the Dog or anything. This one is a Queen mixtape that I got for my grandmother on my birthday. <clears throat> this one is Highway to Hell which I got half off for a uh, $7.50 with the price tag being uh, 15 bucks <clears throat> at that same record store where I got a Master of Puppets and a Led Zeppelin 2. This one is Expect No Mercy. I do like the cover of this song because it's pretty fucking loud to listen to. This one is a tribute album dedicated to Randy Rose. I got this one at the Goodwill for 10 cents. 
and I don't really listen to this one much because I don't like live albums. This one is another Polish Metallica album I have. It warps sort of around uh, For Whom the Bell Tolls, which is unfortunate because it's my one of my favorite songs on the album. It is Ride the Lightning. And <clears throat> this one is another proto-metal album classic, Disraeli Gears by Cream. Well, <clears throat> that's it for my metal tapes. I hope you guys enjoy. Like I said, just press like and subscribe and all that good shit. And have a good day.